Assalamu alaikum. Quran uses the terminology kun fayakun. He says and he says it to be and it is. Usually we think that when this phrase is used, then it bypasses laws of Allah and is bypasses any time period involved. We think that when Allah says kun fayakun, then instantaneously that thing come into existence without any due process involved, without any time involved. But this is our best understanding. If you go through the Quranic ayah where all this phrase is used, then you will get a different picture. Kun fayakun is used eight times in the Quran. And if you read carefully all the eight instances, then you will find that kun fayakun is used in the context where the due process is involved, the law of Allah is involved and due time is involved. For example, in Surah Baqarah, Surah number 2, Ayat number 117, we read, وَإِذَا قَضَىٰ أَمْرًا فَإِنَّمَا يَقُولُ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ That He is the creator or the originator of the heavens and the earth. When He decides for something, then He says and it is. Now when we read this ayah, we think that the universe came into existence without any time involved. But that is not true. We know that the Quran itself claimed that universe came into existence in six ayam, six long period of time. We read in Surah Yunus, Surah number 10, Ayat number 3, Surah Furqan, Surah number 25, Ayat number 59, and Surah Hadith, Surah number 57, Ayat number 4. In all these places, Allah has said that Allah has created this universe, this heavens and the earth in six long period or six equal interval of time. What today's scientific community says as six billion years. So when six billion years or six equal interval of time was involved in the creation of the universe, Allah did not create it in the one day. He had the power. He could have created in one day or say one second or maybe less than one second. But that is not the law of Allah. Law of Allah is to follow the due process, the due law which Allah has made himself. Similarly, if you read the rest of the seven references, then you find that kun fayakun is used to convey that the law of Allah is involved, that time is involved and the due process is involved. For rest of the seven instances, you have to see Surah Al Imran, Surah number 3, three Ayat number 47, Surah Anam, Surah number 6, Ayat number 73, Surah Nahal, Surah number 16, Ayat number 40, Surah Maryam, Surah number 19, Ayat number 35, Surah Yasin, Surah number 36, Ayat number 77 to 81 and 82, Surah Ghafir, Surah number 40, Ayat number 67 and 68. At all such places, Allah conveys that Kun Fayakun refers to the law, the, the process that involves the law of Allah and the time of duty. Time duration. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.